I'm Neil Blumenthal. I'm the co-founder and co-CEO of Warby Parker. And Warby Parker is a new brand of eyewear that we sell online primarily through warbyparker.com for a fraction of the price of usual glasses. Hi, I'm Haley Barna, co-founder of Birchbox. Birchbox is a discovery retail platform. We introduce consumers to high-end beauty, grooming, and lifestyle products and connect brands to valuable consumers. I'm Austin Craig, I work at Aura Brush. I'm the spokesman there, but also work on the marketing team and do some public relations work as well. Aura Brush sells a tongue cleaner, and we started about three years ago and got into social media, specifically YouTube and video, because we didn't have a lot of money to do marketing traditionally uh, through traditional channels. When we think about social media, we really think of it as a communication medium, where I think a lot of people think of it as some sort of advertising tool. Uh, most advertising is just one way, whereas this is about engagement. At Orabrush, we use YouTube in pre-roll ads and true view ads that roll before people's videos, sidebar ads, all kinds of different ads. Um, and then we optimize our, our sales funnel to make sure that when people finally do click on our ads or find us in searches, uh, that they find content that's relevant to them. There was a, a big engaged community of beauty lovers online, particularly on YouTube, and we wanted to tap into that. Um, but we didn't know how powerful it would be until a few months in, and we really started witnessing the power of tapping into that conversation, and having the beauty community embrace Birchbox and share their experiences. Very early on, we just realized how invaluable it was to be able to listen in on the conversations our customers were having. It's the best sort of focus group or customer panel you could have is just to like see the, see their conversations and real reactions um, in real time. You know, we find that people are asking us about if certain glasses are available through Twitter. So we've created a. a Warby Parker help handle where we respond to people's questions. Likewise, people are using uh, Facebook to ask you know, typical customer service questions. So it's important to think of these tools really widely and it's not just an advertising medium. Um, it's a way to engage and engage on multiple levels. So we use Facebook now uh, and grow our Facebook fan page because that audience is valuable. We can find out all kinds of information from them about what our customers like, what they would like to see, what color Aura Brush would you like to see debuted next, what troubles do you have with your Aura Brush. Uh, we get a lot of feedback from our customers on there, totally unsolicited, saying, hey, I had trouble with this. Hey, I can't find you in this store. Are you guys in my hometown? Um, so Facebook has proved to be very valuable in a different way than YouTube, but they, they dovetail, they work well together. Don't just publish, don't just send things out into social media, ask questions, listen, use it as a form of conversation, not just as a publishing tool. You gotta look at the numbers, look at the analytics. If it's intimidating to you, get some help. Start small, start on the simple stuff. Uh, look at the analytics, see what certain posts or different actions will get what kind of responses. Often I hear a lot from other small business owners about how it's really difficult to manage all these social media channels or they just simply don't get it. Um, you know, my advice to them is to you know, talk to folks that actually do get it to see if there's a natural synergy with any of these particular channels and your business and what, and what your business goals are because most likely there is. Um, so it is scary to put something out there in the world, but I think it's good to treat it as little experiments. So just before you start, think about what are you going to measure in terms of what impact you expect. Measure, t track those metrics. If it's not working, don't be afraid to, to change course. Um, don't be committed to one thing because it's the first thing you thought of. Um, measuring, using Google Analytics, really treating it like an experiment is the right way to go about it. It's understandable if people don't understand certain communities online, but if you want to reach your customer using social media, and increasingly that's how people connect with each other, and how people connect with businesses, if you want to make a connection there, you do have to dedicate time. You have to get familiar with those communities. Jump in. Be a part of the conversation.